And hello, welcome back to part two of Silent Hill. This is my Badger here, and we've just entered the. How do I unpause this? We just entered the apartment, or the apartment buildings. We're gonna grab ourselves a map, and we're gonna. Yeah. 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 And we're gonna, you know, we're gonna try and find our wife, Old Mary, because if you remember from the last part, we got ourselves a letter telling us to come to uh, Sight Hill, which we're here. And uh, I'm just going to say, look, you've been gone for three years. You know, everyone said you was dead. I thought you was dead. So why the hell are you, know? Why are you sending me this crap? As you can see, the apartments are fucking dark. There's a slight here, of course. So that's alright. Um, let's try and remember where to go. Oh. Hear the radio. Where's it coming from? Right there, okay. Uh, I think we're gonna go through here. No, I'm not going through there. Ooh, uh. what we need. Um, you might notice this later on in the game, but this exact dress, you know, or blouse, skirt, whatever you want to call it, wherever you are, um, it's pretty much what Mary wears. You know, it's what she's well known for in the in the intro and whatnot. And uh, yeah, it's on a mannequin in a random apartment in Silent Hill. So what's that about, eh? And if we look in the actual room, there's just mannequin parts all over the place. And I don't know. I don't know. Maybe this room, well, this apartment belongs to someone who uh, who likes mannequins. <laughs> oh shit. Um, Alright, let's try and fight this. <laughs> There you go. That's um I guess we could call that enemy the the mannequin. Uh yeah, as you can see it pretty much looks like a kind of woman, female monster. And uh yeah, like like I said before, all these monsters are made up of James what whatever's in James's mind visualizes what the monsters look like, so So this 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 guy's got a thing for um Sexy, kind of looking legs. We'll go more into that later on. And uh, we've got a torch. So now we can see. You can see all these lovely monsters. James, you know, just does his casual little look like Mighty Badger. I want to go over there. There's a key on the ground on the other side of the bars. If I stretch my arm out, I could just, I just might be able to reach it. Will you pick it up? Nah. Yeah, go on then. Why not? <laughs> I can't reach it, no matter how far I stretch. I'm not even trying. But who's that kid? Maybe the kid could come back and help me. So, I got a big, massive, long stick. And I, yeah, you know. Forget it, I can't reach it. I've tried. Oh. 
a shopping cart. But what is that doing here? Oh, okay. I thought he was talking about the gun. But no, he's just so amazed by the shopping cart. I got a handgun. Not, not like, you know, what's a gun doing in here? You know, this should be food. This should be produce. Oh, my God. Oh, well. Um... Yeah, so there's a lot of bullet bullet holes in here. So, uh, big gunfight's been going on. Uh, that's what I love about this game. That's what I love about the, the apartments you actually go into, you know. It, you can kind of gather what the owner was up to, or their hobbies and lifestyle. You had the mannequin room, so maybe it belonged to someone who, I don't know, made costumes, designed their own clothing range. And this room's just, I don't know, bullets everywhere. So, uh, some, some crazy gun nut who uh, loved a bit of shopping as well. Maybe all they did was shop for guns. You never know. But what I love about the apartments is so it's, it's pretty much the first location you go to. And, oh, what's this? Oh, I thought it was a health drink, it's, it's a random bottle. Yeah, it's like the first location you go to where you're confined with the monsters of Silent Hill and, you know, what better way than these small little corridors. Usually, like, ran past quite a lot of them so far, but when you play us for the first time, and you, you know, you're just a little kid, this is pretty intimidating. Dragon! Oh, I remember this! Yeah, that was, that was like my favourite wall kind of sign. Old dragon. Um, right, so we've got a gun. And I think we go... Ah, uh, yeah. What was that? Some kind of noise north of here. Well, I guess that's north. Oh shit! Well, if you don't know who this fella is, then you don't know your silent hill. It's none other than the red pyramid head. Pyramid head. Red triangle thing. The main enemy of silent hill too. And uh, he's just standing there chilling. Sorry. Hey James, how you doing? <laughs> that little girl kicked that key away. <laughs> um, yeah, just that figure alone. It's, and yeah, that's. This, I was going to show you another way, but this is what, this is what I hated when I first saw him. Because um, I heard the radio go off. So I'm, I'm, I relive it. I relive it for you guys. Although you kind of just see what I'm on about here. So I was just walking down. You hear the radio. I'm like, oh, right. Monster. And um, I had my handgun, but I, I didn't have it out. I think I had the stick out, which I have right now. So I was just going and I was like, what? Is that a light? It can't be, it has to be a monster. And I kept going and then I see the bars. So I feel a bit more safer, but just, I don't know, I must have been staring at it for like a minute or two and just thinking, what the fuck? And then the camera angle is just brilliant, how they just close, get closer and closer to the thing. But yeah, you just, you don't even like, when you first see it, you don't even know what the fuck it is. Is it, is it a monster? Or, you know, I don't know. But you turn on the light and it's like, oh, okay, some, some freaky shit. But yeah, that's Pyramid Head, guys. That's the thing that every Silent Hill fan seems to love. Including myself, I must admit. What's going on here? I might have to get the gun out, you know. Although, the stick has been quite good to me. How many bullets have we got? Ten bullets. Ah, oh, that's not good. Alright, well, we'll get some bullets first. This note. It must be from the person who lived here. Okay. Okay. Three different sizes. 
time on the run. Three young men, Stasia, round the sun. Henry is short and very, very slow. Scott can't stop. He's always on the go. Nice. Nice. That's the typical note I kind of write down. It looks like the lock is broken. I can't open it. What's this? It's like the red pyramid head again. Whoa. So now, uh, is, is he just looking? Is he looking away from? He's scared, or he's just seen something? No, he's seen the key. But, oh my god, it's like the first dead person I've seen in my life, apart from that guy on the street who uh, whose apartment key I stole earlier. But my god, this key! Oh wow, I got the key to room two hundred two. Uh, so yeah, uh, from this angle, I don't know if you can tell, but it's pretty much the same. Well, it's the same kind of build as, as good old James here. And as you see in the game, nearly every dead human being we see is, is James. So, I don't know. I don't know what that's about. Uh, Henry, uh, what's this? Okay, so Henry, Mildred, and Scott. That's pretty much the, the time. There's a clock, yeah. This, this is a puzzle we, we're going to do later. So, uh, I think I got the key for room 2. No, 302? Oh, it might be 202. Let's find out. Let's find out. 202. Now, let's find out where 202 is. Down there. Oh wait, no. Okay. It's not that far. I think the main aim is to try and find some bullets. And yeah, I don't know if you, can, if you saw that, but uh, our mate, the good old pyramid head, is gone. So I don't know. Maybe he killed the guy by the TV. I don't know why the guy's watching TV with all this stuff down there. Right. Oh, I don't like these noises. I don't like this. I can't wait to get this done. Hmm. Let's see what's going on here. Okay, health drain. That'll make up for all the times so I'm gonna get or killed. This is a. Uh, that's like a red light here. Hmm. Nope. There's nothing inside the cage. of a dead butterfly is on the ground. There's nothing else of interest here. Just the dead butterfly. Who did this? That sound effect is, uh, I don't know. It's pretty good. Oh no, he's found more dead butterflies. Body of a dead butterfly is on the ground. Snaggy has to be interest here. If I remember correctly, the sound effect was done by getting an overweight Japanese man to jump on a trampoline, and they just slowed down, pretty much just slowed down the, the sound made, and uh, we got this kind of boom. It's too dark to tell for sure But I think there's something on the other side of the hole We investigate, yeah Seems safe 
That's whole reminds me of a hell of a lot of um, Silent Hill 4. Okay, the controller just vibrated. Why are you doing this again? I got the clock key. Oh, so can you do it again? There's nothing in the hole anymore. Now, I wonder, I, I don't know if something grabbed him. Look at all this green stuff. Yeah. Um, yeah, I don't know if something grabs him at first when he goes, well, when he puts his hand in that hole. I'm guessing he just, I don't know, was maybe dead butterflies in there as well, and he's like, yeah. I'm not quite sure. Any changes here? No, he's still enjoying himself. Okay. No, you can't do that yet. Okay. So can you use the key automatically? The clock stopped at 702 and in 15 seconds. The faceplate is closed. It is locked. They can't touch the needles of the clock like this. Yeah, you can. Just Boom, like that. But no, we'll play it. We'll play it the, the proper way. We used the key. I used the clock key. Okay, I think it should be nine ten. Yeah, we're, we're having it. Alright, we're having that. I like that. I like it that it stays on 910. Yeah! So yeah, back to this. Um, this kind of just gave you the... Henry is meant to be the hour. Mildred is the minutes and Scott is the seconds. So it represents the hands of the clock. And there you go. Hopefully that's helped someone in the world. Someone who's been like staring at his clock, counting down the minutes, hours that they've been stuck here. Well, you're welcome. Bullets, bullets. Oh, save point. Um, yeah, why not? Yeah, I'm just gonna save as much. Like, there's a part of me when I started this playthrough, I was thinking, you know what, I'm gonna do the whole game without saving. But that means playing the whole game in one in one day, or I don't know, a couple of hours. And because I don't know that well, I can't guarantee me. Can't guarantee that I'd be able to do that. What the hell? We're on the other side of the bloody gate. We're stuck in here with the old pyramid man. Do, no, 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 no. Look at this blood. That's where we're standing. I don't like the sounds or the looks of this. Do, no, 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 no. Okay. It's alright, it's alright. Okay, I uh, just heard some random like, Ooh. I thought it was in the game, but no, it's outside. Outside my house. Okay, that's good. That's good to know. Uh, where should we go? Upstairs or downstairs? Let's go upstairs. Oh, what have you found, boy? What have you found? Yeah! Now, I'm guessing we get... Oh, no. This is the map. Wrong button. Let's go to the menu. I think you get 10 bullets, so yeah, so we've got 20. That's fine. That's fine. Right. 
Nem de um, obviously had to give the HD collection a good old go back in the day. And uh, one of the achievements was just to kill like 75 monsters with the stick and 75 with the gun. And that was pretty fun because you just uh, treat the game differently. Oh god. Waste ammo. Sorry about that. I it's just got some bloody ammo and he starts to shoot the actually shoot well there are bullet holes there. That's pretty oh look key. Oh you didn't pick that up, that's more important. A courtyard key. Ah dear. So yeah, there you go, once again the red pyramid. And uh he was he was getting he was getting a bit kinky with these uh please tell me they're dead. I can't remember if they come back to life. No they're dead. Um getting kinda of kinky with them. But as as you saw he doesn't actually do anything with them. Just kind of insinuates that he's doing something sexual. So, oh god. So, we better get out of here. But yeah, I don't know if you, uh, if you're wondering why does the pyramid head have a triangle head? Originally, he was meant. He was, oh, more monsters! Oh shit! I'm going the right way. Yeah, originally he was just um. He looked more human, the original designs of him, and uh, he had like a mask on, and like long, kind of, I think it was silver white hair, if I remember the images correctly. And yeah, the original designer just thought, you know what, it just looks like a guy with a mask, let's change it. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, let's, let's change the style of play here. Where are we off to? Oh, there's the key there. Is that the key on the floor? Maybe this is a good... Oh, yes! Oh, yes. Okay. I didn't expect to find that. Uh, reload. No, no, no. Let's go back to this map. Um, I think I can just go... Yeah. Why didn't I go this way? Put that... Did I go to that stairwell there? No, I'm gonna go back down this hallway. Leave me alone, leave me alone. Oh shit. Um, yeah, so he kind of just gave him like a big triangle mask helmet thing, and it just looked uncomfortable, you know. This huge, gigantic metal thing. And it's, I guess, just represent like pain, torment. Because it's kind of like a executioner in a way, but it, it, it kind of shows James's pain. Because you know he's lost his wife. He's I don't know maybe feels guilty about. It. I don't know why he would feel guilty about. It. But yeah, I think I think the 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 final design it it does look like what they wanted to give him. It's locked. What? Why no? I got all these keys. All these keys. I wanna get in there? Is that Redfin? Oh yeah. All right. So we're not going in there, are we? 
unless I have to do it manually. No. So I wonder if the other staircase would work. Oh, I do have this actually. Yeah, that's the way I want to go. Speaking of pyramid head, I wonder what's underneath the the triangle helmet. Don't know if they've ever revealed it. Don't know if we even want to know. So, yeah, all right. So I was hoping to get this apartment bit done in one go. We're we're pretty much halfway through it. There's not much to do, I don't think. Got to collect some coins and whatnot, but. It'll be alright, it'll be alright. So I'll